Here we are at Safari Sport and Surf, located in Chatsworth, on DeSoto, and Devonshire. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good one. Here we are at Safari Sport and Surf. Randy is the proprietor of the store. What a great guy he is, too. And look at all the wonderful stuff that he has in his store. It's just as busy as can be. People pouring into the store. He's got everything from skateboards to surfboards to wetsuits to bathing suits. Just too many items. But the camera is picking up on just a few of the pieces that he's got here. You can tell this store is not on threads. It has just got everything you could possibly want. Skateboard and surfboard related. Beautiful stuff too. This is probably one of the nicest skateboard and surfboard shops I have ever seen in my life. It's almost a museum. He's got stuff in here that is from the beginning of skateboarding and the beginning of surfing. And I am not kidding about that. Just a beautiful store. Located on DeSoto and Devonshire. He's always open anytime from 11 to 8 p.m. And he will definitely outfit you for all of your needs, skateboard and surfing related. Jimmy Hawkins, how are you? How are you, Randy? National Skateboard Racing Association, right next caliber. What are you doing here? Great to see you. You know what? I just got a package in. Really? What'd you get? Well, let me show you. Oh, you got your FedEx. I just got my Excalibur set up here. Check this out. The motor just came. Hey, you know the what? Sweet arm just came. Let me help you assemble this thing. Sure, let's do it. Let's do it right now. Well, we're going to show. Hey, look your video on too. We're gonna show some people what this store can do over here. Randy just got his FedEx package in that has the Excalibur swing arm. It comes assembled or disassembled depending on how much of uh, the equipment you're gonna buy. But since this is already laid out for us, we're gonna show you how simple it really is. Your trucks are gonna be inserted here. So you'll take your skateboard that's just like that. Any skateboard turns into a powered skateboard in 15 minutes or less. Take your skateboard, pull the wheels off of the back, drop your front trucks off. Can I see another skateboard? Oh, yeah, hey, I work on? hey, there's one already stripped down. So you can take your skateboard just down like this, because we're going to be adding some risers to it, because we're going to need some space and clearance for the battery pack that's going to go here that's going to turn this skateboard into a powered skateboard. So, give us a second here and we'll now show you one that we've already been working on a couple days ago and your board will turn into just like that. The Excalibur is going to come with 1030 seconds of screws. You're not going to have to do very much drilling at all, just two penetration holes for the battery support. If you have a real long board, I suggest you go to Home Depot and buy a piece of steel, drill your holes, drill your holes. If you want it to run up to the front trucks, it's a good idea as well. So you'll just be replacing the bolts that were in that board that you've disassembled. Pin will be sticking up. You'll place your risers on it. You're looking for about one and a half to two inches of clearance. You can use anything from a riser that you'll buy in Randy's store to a piece of wood that's laying around the house to a racing modified one for racing that gives us a tilt which takes a little of the high speed wobble out when you're going 50 miles an hour if you're going to turn into a racer. If it's just for leisure, these are going to be fine.
We've got the skateboard done now. Pretty simple. Four bolts, five, six, and ten. And you're done. That process right there should not take more than ten minutes. Ready? Now, when it comes to the swing arm, the swing arm's going to be attached. Obviously, it goes, oh, let me see that one skateboard again. We'll show them how it just slips right over. Beautiful. Here's the back. Trucks are going to be like that. Just slip them right over. Take your wheels off and slip it right over. That's the swing arm and the attachment of it. It's going to go right over the trucks. Got it here. So again, just pull those wheels off, making sure that this little 90 degree here is up. So when your board is flipped over, they go up to the sky, not down to the ground. Not like this, but yes, like that. Okay. So, if you happen to just be getting a part or something like that in your assemblage, your motor wire, you want it coming closest to the trucks because it's going to be going forward to the battery. So we've got our wire laid out. Again, that's going to be the way it's going to ride. We'll take what's included, our bolts. Go ahead and pass them through on the same side as the gear, and that's going to be on the left side always. So we've got our three bolts in. We've got little spacers for room for the chain and for the uh, cog that goes, or the gear that goes on the motor. We'll slip our spacers on. They are included, and we will attach then to that side swing arm the motor. We've got some nuts and bolts that are provided. Simply screw them on. And that is going to hold this motor to the swing arm. So no matter what, it will be supported to that left side swing arm. Put your three other bolts on. And I'm not going to do it right now just to save time, but we'll go like this. Again, and your other bolt on the other side. Your trucks has to go in at this period, or it's got to go over the trucks. So your wheels off, it goes over the trucks. Put your bolts back on, tighten it down. When you flip it over, if I can see that other one that you've got, Randy. Oh, this one. Up. Sorry. Pretty simple, though. I mean, real simple here. So then, what you've got. is right there. Three bolts attached, swing arm through it, put any your wheels back on, whichever ones you like. I like 80 millimeters or bigger, but you can go down to 76. I prefer Randall's or uh, Independence, but they fit on any truck, so if whatever you got, it's going to work on it. The back tire comes in two different sizes, an 8-inch tire and a 10-inch tire. The 10 inch is also wider, not only uh, wider in diameter here, but uh, or across, but also wider here. The other one's about half that size. Depending on the size of the wheel that you're that's coming to you, this spacing has to be square all the way through. So you'll put another bolt or another nut on the inside, and then you can make your adjustments because you'll they all have to be adjusted a little bit. But whichever tire you get, it will be accommodated by the bolts that come with it. You'll slip your chain around the tire, inside on the sprocket. That way, when you slip it over, you can feed it then through and put it onto your gear that's on the motor. So there it is. And you can see one, two, three bolts and nuts associated. Back tire comes with everything comes with the chain, so you'll take that, slip your tire right in, make sure the chain's on the inside, and you're almost done. We've got that, we've got our swing arm assembled. Now Randy, if I couldn't see that skateboard that's got the risers already on it, and your process is almost done. That might have taken another five or ten minutes, so you're at about, 10 to, about 15 to 20 minutes total time so far. Come up to the back of your skateboard. Your swing arm is in. You can take 
this off and insert it right there. This is just the truck support. This already has the uh, truck support and the truck actually on it, but you would then just slip it right on, put your four nuts and bolts on, tighten it down, and it's going to swing just like this, and when you're done, what you will have is exactly that one, which now goes just like any other skateboard. Put it on, it'll swing down. Let's lift it up. Now that's that's the step that you're at now. You put your forward your front truck back on. It's already got your wheels on it. There is your finished product. The batteries, depending on how fast you want to go, the watt size of the motor, it comes in 350, 450, 650, and 900. The 900 watt is the racing one. Battery packs, you can go with 24 volts or 36 volts. We run 36 volts at racing. If you want something a little slower, like a 30 mile an hour board, you go with a 24 volt pack system. They're 12 volt, 12 uh, amp hour batteries in series, creating a 24 volt system. You'll come with a ba uh, battery support, and your batteries will fit right into that section. Your battery support will go on, you'll put your nuts on, and you're talking about, at that point, nothing from stopping you from riding the Excalibur. It's all motorized. Ready to go. This, this is a racing unit that would go about 45 miles an hour. Randy is going to take you around his shop and tell you a little bit about what he has. Well, we have a full line of skateboards. Freestyle, old school, long boards, complete shop. We can handle anything you need. We'll take care of everything you got. Some of these pieces up here look like museum pieces, Randy. Well, we have a on display bunch of vintage surfboard skateboards uh, from the early 60s going to present day. Uh, we have a great apparel selection, four shorts, walk shorts, t-shirts, great surfboard selection. Short boards, long boards, vintage boards, uh, boogie boards, skim boards, wetsuits, whatever you need, we've got. We can take care of everything you have. What are your hours of operation, Randy? Monday through Friday, 11 to 8, Saturday, 10 to 6, Sunday, 12 to 5, seven days a week. Beautiful. Excellent. Where are you located, Randy? We're in Chatsworth on the corner of Devonshire and DeSoto. The address is 20936 Devonshire Street, Chatsworth, California. Phone number 818-349-9283. 9283-WAVE. 349-WAVE. There you've got it. One more quick glance at Randy's beautiful store. And Randy's also got the Excalibur in stock, fully made up. That's the, the future right there. National right Association there. of Powered Skateboard Racing. My name is Jimmy Hawkins. I'm still the president of the National Association of Powered Skateboard Racing. I look forward to seeing you guys at the races. We're having a great time over here. Thank you.